Back to the flyweight division. Let's check out the tail of the tape. And look at the height for Ovchinikova, much taller than Helen Harper. Helen Harper needs to get inside, make this a grappling match. To Michael C. Williams. From Spike Sports, Bellator MMA now moves to the flyweight division, set for three five-minute rounds. We can produce the blue corner at five foot one. She weighed in 126.2 pounds, her professional record. Four wins, just one loss, fighting out of London, England, Helen, Hellraiser Harper. And across the cage, your adversary out of the red corner at five foot six, weighing in 124.6 pounds. As a professional, 11 victories, four defeats, fighting out of Lviv, Ukraine, presenting Lena Hunter of Chinikova. In charge of the action, referee Big John McCarthy. Helen, go right there. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Speed up. We live in the Ukraine, about 350 miles from here. It's a fight you could actually drive to. We'll have some friends and family. She's fought here before, as of Chinikova. What I'm thinking about is not the numbers when you look at the records here, because Lena Ovchinikova has a lot of submissions, and Helen Harper for four wins, two of them by knockout. But all Ovchinikova talked about was her Muay Thai. All Harper talked about was her submission game. Yep. That's what they were obsessed with. Helen Harper's got the BJJ credentials. London BJJ champ, Pan-Asian BJJ champ. That's how she won her fight on the Ultimate Fighter. She scored a pretty slick submission with an arm bar. Where Lane, I think, is at her best at distance. Right in for the single leg. You don't want to spend this kind of energy and not get the takedown. She got it. Helen had that single leg. She started by pulling into her. That's not going to work. You always want to push to a single. And she was finally able to reverse course. That's when she got this takedown. Here we are on the mat. Uh, on the mat. Notice her pushing on the knee right away. She's going to go to full mount if she can push that knee down. And she's looking right, right away to pass. Not any ground and pound at all. What she wants is jujitsu with MMA gloves, and she's almost got that full mount. Has to pull that foot through. Jimmy, I think she'd like to set up a, an, an arm triangle on the opposite side if she could find a way to get that elbow across a little bit. She could go right back to pushing that knee down, go to full mount here. She may not want to do it with the fence there. Yeah, I think she's having space issues. Can't keep Ochinikova all the way flat with the fence in the way. Now, with all the worldwide discussion of fighters missing weight, Ochinikova is that rare case of a fighter who is never going to struggle making. She has to struggle getting up to the weight. How does that how does that change on fight night? You know what changes? This right now. Yes. She doesn't want to get in these grappling positions where she's underneath a much heavier fighter. She had breakfast and weighed in at 122. Harper, a little bit over the weight class, had a tough time cutting. Tonight, she's the much bigger fighter. Chinakova's in big trouble here. On for the Americana. Hey, she might get this. The way she's pressuring that down, because she's lost the position. She wanted to get the elbow to the mat. She missed it, but then she pops right back up into strikes here. She's able to score from multiple positions. One with the strikes, and then two looking for submissions. First thing she needs to do is get an arm, isolate one arm, pin it to the ground. Lena's got a problem here. Look, she is going to have to move those hips. I like how she's bucking, but she's also going to need to push down on one of her opponent's knees, start to try to pull a knee through, or roll over and give up her back. At some point, Jimmy, and that's the last option, but at some point, that's the option she's going to turn to. But we're not seeing is that push and turn. We're seeing this bump escape. It's not going to work. It's a much heavier opponent. Going hard for that Americana, yep. the key lock. What Helen wants to do is try to drive that elbow to the mat. She, she still has a good position here. She can transition to a nice armbar here and turn this into a sweep, and she loses it. Going to the armbar now. Nice. She's got it. I think she literally heard you say she could transition <laughs> to an armbar. Those hips came through, though, because a matter of hips, she's going to want to get her left leg on top. Now to the triangle, triangle transition. And she just will not give up. Going from submission to submission. Ovchinikova still in big trouble. 
got to commit to one or the other. Right now, she's halfway between the armbar and the triangle. She wants to put it under her armpit. What's her best decision from here? Uh, right here is the armbar. She's too extended for the triangle. Triangle, you need to pull the posture down. She's not getting And it. look at the strength of Ovechini Kova to power her way up. Almost a schoolyard technique. Yeah. Now, Rampage Jackson made this acceptable uh, <laughs> for, for conformed finds of, uh, of MMA. However, it's a lot of energy. Lena was successful in getting her arm and neck free, but she used a lot of energy there. And Helen could really capitalize on it by coming forward right now. But I think that it's Helen who's trying to maybe catch her breath. Remember, it takes a lot of energy to try to finish the submission. We don't have it all the way. Well, now Tunikova is in a position where she needs something big to win back this round. But she was getting schooled on the ground. Let's see if Tunikova heavily on that back foot. That's the Muay Thai. Finding her range again. Look at the left side of Ellen Harper's face. It is swollen and purple. And we're seeing where each fighter can dominate. Ochinikova doing great on the feet. Harper was all over her on the ground, though. And the throw to end round one and the step over. A good round one. Sometimes a round will show us just how long five minutes is, because you can have three different acts within a five minute round. That's right, Harper wanted this takedown and got it. Good trip off the single leg, and once she was on the ground, good transition to Malco and Harper, the armbar. If she ends up losing this fight, she will remember this position for a long time, because that should have been done. Of Chinakova able to buck, get on top and escape, and land some nice more time, almost getting Mount at the end of the round. You ready? She had a critical moment where she was almost undecided between the triangle and the armbar. Yeah, if she would have just pinched her knees, kept that left leg on top and extended her hips, this fight would be a distant memory. But instead, Lena's back on her feet. And really, Lena deserves a little credit there. She, she was beat dead to rights and, and found a way to defend every one of those submission techniques. Now she needs to use this range, keep attacking. Not one punch and a second punch and then wait. She needs to keep attacking here, keep this space, and start scoring some points of her own. I like the way she's fighting from the waist down, too. Good angling. Look at that. TikTok, she's always moving. Her feet are never planted. Never give the grapple an easy leg. That's what she's trying not to do. Yeah, good kicks right up the middle are very hard to see. That could be something that Lena could employ, maybe a, a kick to the midsection. Everything doesn't have to come to the outside and give Harper a chance to grab it. I think that single leg in the first round might make her a little hesitant with the kicks. Anything over the a short low kick, she might be a little hesitant to throw. If you're Harper, how much do you want to bum rush and take these punches? She did a little bit of that at the end of the first round and got thrown. Lena has decent judo. Both fighters wary of what the other did in round one. Nice left. And that opened up her nose. It's bleeding now. That straight left right down the pipe. And the southpaw stands. We're not used to seeing it. A little catch in. It did. This is the striking we talked about that she showed against Carla Benitez. Never got on track against Rebecca Lewis. Nice. Good trip. trip. Good takedown right to side control here. Three minutes. A lot of time left on the ground. Lena's coming over. She's yep. over the arm. Power her way out. Over the head. She got it. Up to her feet. Harper answers with a knee. The problem with those takedown attacks and all that ground stuff is once you get there, you've got to keep her there. To get that takedown, get side control, and not be able to hold her down. Fatiguing, it's demoralizing. You had your opponent right where you wanted him. Now you're back to this. Lennis had some real moments of brilliance here. That last stand-up is a fine example of that. The takedown escapes, in the, uh, or rather the de uh, submission defenses in the first round are examples of that, particularly when you consider she is a much smaller fighter. With that left hand, lands again. 
Harper being tenacious with this body lock. So far, good balance by Ovchinikova. She likes those judo throws, the head and arms are just really risky in MMA. Jimmy, she said to us the other day, I got my confidence back in the fight in Tel Aviv. Every fighter says that. They walk in, they tell us the same thing. Oh, I got my confidence back. So it's so clear with Leno Ovchinikova. This is a fighter who knows what she's good at. Yes. What she's good at is this Muay Thai range. Got quick hands, accurate. You see the damage on Helen Harper's face. You have to remember about this submission game, the takedown game, it doesn't get easier. When it gets slippery, you get tired. Muscle fatigue sets in. Yeah, here's, here's some confidence gaining. You can see as this round two goes on. Jimmy, a couple of big knees slipped in there by Lena. I'll tell you, I do believe she's losing this contest this far. I'm not sure I'm not more impressed with her. And I, and I say that largely because she's the one that's dealt with adversity, she's the one that's overcame, and she is a smaller fighter. I think that that's very relevant. We had a lot of fight left to do, but this thing is getting real interesting. Here's a good follow-up by Lena. Lena with another nice shot knee. to the body. I don't know if people at, no, uh, at home know how bad those are hurting. Helen Harper is acting. She's got a game face on. She's acting like they're not, but I assure you, she's only human, and they are. But look at her body language. Yep. Big breasts. Hands down, she cannot show with her face, but you tell those body shots are taking a lot out of her. Her body is not reacting like it did in round one. Believe it or not, Edna Kinnikova does not have a knockout. This is why, because she uses that Muay Thai striking to get fights to the ground and finish them there. When I say the head and arm's risky, this is why your opponent can take your back, but she's not going to have time to use it. Guys, we could be tied up going into the third. I believe we are. I no, believe we are, too. Well. That is the result. This is how it happened. That good range by Lino of Chinakova. Look at these straight left hands, right on the button. Great targeting. And so far, Harper hasn't shown any tools to deal with that straight left. Here's a nice head and arm throw at the end of the round. Almost gave up her back. Didn't have time to give it up. But this is a confident fighter moving into round three. Uh, it's over. Yeah, that's not surprising. Wow, Just really? about to say, the score may be tied, but we know where momentum was, and there were moments of almost physical surrender from Helen Harper, the way she was turning away from the fight late in that second round. Sean, I'll tell you what, that, it does surprise, surprise me. What do you think it was? Maybe the body shots that we alluded to right. earlier? What do you think it was it, it, that, it must, that had her stuck on the stool? I, yeah. I think so. I do. Like nothing her face, her face is, is lumped up and swollen, but I didn't see anything like an orbital damage or doesn't look like her nose is broken. Might have been the body attack. Look, I'm going to speculate right now. She is in tears. I don't know if her coaches stopped the fight. I don't believe the referee Big John is. I believe her coaches saw something that said, we're not sending her back out there. I'd like to get in a little more clarity. Because, Sean, that did actually surprise me. I thought we were getting ready for frame number three. Didn't look that bad. She looked like she could have kept going, but we don't know what caused it. You got to see know some something of the we body don't. language again at the end of round number two with Helen Harper in full retreat. And keep this in mind, Relena Ovchinikova, her first career knockout. And she came inches away from losing this fight about three minutes into it. Gentlemen, if I may add this for our viewers at home, our camera isn't on it, but I am personally watching Helen Harper right now. She has tried to stand up twice to leave her corner, come shake her opponent's hand, and fell back onto the stool. So we, we certainly have some kind of a body issue going on. What was so accurate, and I think did most of the damage to her face with a straight left hand, but it was the body attacks that might have proven to be the difference. And some great knees. But like you said, she tried to stand up a couple times and couldn't do it. Could have injured something in her lower body. We don't know, but she took some strikes. Now, that's one of the body shots we were talking about. They take it right out of you. Lena Ovchinikova back in the winner's circle. We'll make it official next. Just 350 miles from her hometown in the Ukraine, Lena Ovchinikova brought some fans 
And their trip was worth the while. Here's Michael C. Williams to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, referee Big John McCarthy checks on the fighter and waves off the contest. Official time, five minutes of round number two, the winner by TKO Lennox.